Hello everyone, today we are going to be doing Biology Paper 2, Multiple Choice. This is the May-June 2022 series, so let's get started. So question number one, all living organisms release energy from nutrient molecules within their cell. Now what is this name of the characteristics? Now this is, this characteristic is respiration. And you have to know that respiration is a process in which energy is released by breaking down nutrient molecules for energy. So basically, you have to memorize the memory, uh, the definitions. Question number two. Which diagram shows the flower from a monocotyledon? Okay, for a monocotyledon, you have to know something. For monocots, you have to know that they have parallel veins. Parallel veins, they have broad leaves. For dicots, you have to know that they have branching veins. Veins. So, uh, from the option below here, we see that D is the only one that is parallel. The lines, leaf veins are parallel. And we can see that it is a very narrow shape and therefore D is the correct answer. Question number three. The diagram shows a cross section through two guard cells of a leaf. Which label structure would also be found in an animal cell? Now remember in animal cell and plant cell, the similarities is that they both have a cell membrane, they both have cytoplasm. Okay? So we have to find the cytoplasm. They also they also both have the nucleus as well. So nucleus, which is the W here, it is the largest organ all you can find in the cell. So W is one of the options. And then X, which is the cell membrane, and therefore A is the correct answer. Question number four. The table shows some structures found in the human body. Which rows shows the correct level of organization? from simple to most complex. Remember, the level of organization is starting from a cell, a cell, and a group of cell is called a tissue. A group of tissue makes up an organ, an organ makes up an organ system, right? So you have to know your level of organization from the simplest cell to the most complex called the organ system. Now the simple is definitely a cell, and therefore red blood cell. Second of all, a muscle is tissues, basically, a group of cells. And then it is the organ, which is the heart, and the system, which is the circulatory system. Therefore C is the correct answer. Question number five, by which process do oxygen move from a region of higher concentration to a region of lower concentration in the blood? Um, okay, so this is, from high concentration to low concentration this is definitely by diffusion so you have to learn the definition of diffusion as well okay question number six the diagram shows a section of a mesophile mesophile cell of its leaf which part is partially permeable remember partially meaning semi semi permeable so it allows some of the substance in but it doesn't allow all of the substance inside the cell and this is the cell membrane the cell membrane controls the exit and entry and here we can see b is the cell membrane so b is the correct answer question number seven what are the basic units of starch and glycogen molecules remember starch is made up of glucose and it is a very complex carbohydrate carbohydrate glycogen is made is also uh, a complex carbohydrate. They both are, in fact, carbohydrates molecule, and therefore they are both made of glucose, and therefore D is the correct answer. Question number eight: A chromosome was analyzed and have, and found to have six hundred and one hundred twenty-five pairs of bases. Okay, this is a total number of bases. Remember, we have to know a base pairing. A goes with T. C pairs with G. The type of each base was identified in two hundred thirty-four. 2345 of the base were G. 
Now it asks you how many bases of the chromosome are T. Now this is a simple calculation problem. As you know, since they have since A and T pair up and C and G pair up, the pairs will always have an equal number of bases. And therefore if we know the basis of G and the base of G is 2345, so the base of C would also be 2345 because they pair up with each other, so they both have to have a pair, so the numbers are equal. Now you add the, um, you add these two together, or you multiply these two together, and then minus this from the total, which is the 625 pair, and then you will get the A and T combined basis, which is 7560 7, basis, this is A and T combined, if we want to find only t, we have to, because it is a pair, we have to divide by 2. This gives us 3,780. Therefore, b is the correct answer. Question number 9. Which of the molecules are enzymes made out of? Remember, enzymes are made out of protein. This is something that you have to learn. Question number 10. Which statement describes the effect of temperature on enzymes? Remember, the higher the temperature, the faster the rate of catalytic um, reaction of the enzymes but however a, a very high temperature would actually denature the enzymes therefore high temperatures will denature enzymes making it difficult for the substrate molecule to fit into the active site and therefore it is the correct answer question number 11 the statement describes some of the events that occur in the plant after light energy is absorbed by chlorophyll now we are given a stage of 1, 2, 3, and 4. Statement 1 says it, um, it is converted to chemical energy. Statement 2 says it is converted to sucrose for translocation. Statement 3 says starch is stored in roots of seeds. Statement 4 says glucose is produced. Now which order do these events occur? Now this is something called this is basically, you have to know the photosynthesis equation, right? Which is the CO2 plus H2O. This makes glucose and oxygen as a byproduct. Okay. So first of all, what will happen? The light energy is going to get converted into chemical energy that can be used. So number one is the first step. And then Number one is the first step, and then what you have to do is that once it is converted into chemical energy, glucose is produced. Now when glucose is produced, we the, in plants, remember, glucose is not actually the storage form of the plants. Instead, they will convert it to sucrose for translocation. And then in the roots or, or in the places where needed, the glucose is going to be converted into starch which is the storage form of glucose. And therefore, this is the order that you have to follow, one, four, two, three, therefore D is the correct answer. Question number 12, a deficiency of magnesium ions can cause plant leaves to become yellow between the leaf veins. What is the reason for this? Magnesium ions, remember, are needed in chloro chlorophyll production. Production, so if the magnesium ions decrease, i.e. the defic deficiency of magnesium, then the plant cells, there will be less chlorophyll production, causing the leaves to become yellow. And this is because decreased chlorophyll production. C. Question 13. The diagram, the table shows some different compounds in a balanced diet. Which rules correctly match the components to, be, to the reasons why they are needed? Vitamin D, it is needed to for bone growth. Water is needed for transport. Fats, uh, one of the best function is to make insulation. Of course, there are also other various functions for these compounds, but these are one of the most important ones. Question number 14. Which process involves the removal of material from the rectum? Now, this is definitely a definition class type of question. So you have to know the removal of material from the rectum or your anus is called ejection. Ejection. So A is the correct answer. Question 15. The diagram shows a cross-section part of the plant. 
which part of the pen is shown and what tissue is labeled H. Now this is the xylem which is labeled. The H is the xylem and the outer part is the phloem. Always remember, I usually remember it by that xylem is always inside, phloem is always outside. And here you can also add more labels. This is the root cortex. Or you can never mind. You cannot add it anymore. <coughs> yes, this is the root cortex. Cortex, so this is this structure shown is actually part of the root. While the stem the stem looks like something like this. So the same principle applies here, the inside are xylem, the outside part are the phloem, right? So root and the tissue H is xylem, so B is the correct answer. Question number 16, the apparatus, apparatus shown can be used to investigate the effect of temperature and humidity on the rate of transpiration. Which set of conditions would give the highest rate of transpiration and the greatest decrease in mass? Remember, highest rate of transpiration, you have to know the factors that control transpiration. And one of them is warm. If the temperature is increased, the rate of transpiration will be higher. However, the greatest decrease in mass, okay? Um, so if the humidity is low, i.e. the water vapor, humidity is basically the amount of water vapor in air, if the water vapor is low, there will be a more like um, there will be a concentration gradient between them because remember osmosis goes from high to low, so the plants will lose its water to the environment if the humidity is low, and therefore D is the correct answer. <coughs> Seventeen, people are sometimes born with a hole in the heart. Okay, this is caused by a gap in the septum. The septum is this part labeled. Um, you also have to know the different types of structures around the, the ana anatomy of the heart as well. You have to be able to label it. If the gap in the septum is not repaired, it causes the person to become breathless and more quickly. What is the possible explanation for this? Well, this is because the right-hand side and the left-hand side um, contains different kinds of blood. The right hand side contains deoxygenated blood and the right left hand side contains oxygenated blood. And so these two are going to mix together, right? So <coughs> this is the right atrium, left atrium, right ventricle, left ventricle. So it's not going to be atrium, but it's going to be the ventricle, okay? So the deoxygenated blood in the right atrium will mix with the oxygenated blood in the left atrium. This is wrong because we are talking about ventricles, so A and B are not correct. Now let's look at C, oxygenated blood in the left ventricle, this is correct, mixes with the deoxygenated blood from the right ventricle, so C is the correct answer. Question 18, the flow diagram shows stages in blood clotting. Okay. What is component X? We have to know what is component X. So components of blood involved in clotting circulate the body. Now this component is called, tiny things called platelets. And what they essentially do is to stimulate, they stimulate the conversion, conversion of fibrinogen to fibrin. And this fibrin is the substance that will form a mesh. So Y is fibrin, and X is fibrinogen. So B is the correct answer. Question 19. What is an example of passive immunity? Remember, passive immunity is basically an acquired, acquired immunity. Uh, so basically, you, you get your antibodies from another individual. However, passive immunity just gives you temporarily, you're only tempor temporarily immune to the disease, not permanently, and therefore it does not produce any memory cells. So an example of passive immunity would be um, 
would be giving chicken pox antibodies to people at risk developing a severe infection. Question number 20, what happens at the start of inspiration? Now you also have to know this because at the start of inspiration, I would like to start with the diaphragm first always. So at the start of inspiration, let's imagine this is your lungs here. The diaphragm will stay flat. This means the diaphragm is contracting. The diaphragm will contract. And this means when you breathe in, the air is going inside your body. So your volume of thorax is going to be increased, okay? And then what happens is that your external coastal muscle will actually contract to the outer side. So it's going to contract, it's going to contract to allow the volume to be increased while the intercoastal muscle will going to relax because it is an antagonistic, antagonistic muscles, meaning while the other contract, the other is going to relax. Therefore, C is the correct answer. Question number 21. Germinating seeds require aerobically to release energy that can be used for growth. The balance equation for aerobic respiration in seeds can be represented as shown. Which rules gives the balance equation for aerobic respiration? Now you have to know the formula for respiration, which is the opposite of photosynthesis. This is when you use breakdown glucose with oxygen to form carbon dioxide and water uh, water yes so basically you have to add six to all of them except glucose that is one of the tricks that you have to remember so glucose q is going to glucose react with oxygen it's going to produce carbon dioxide and water now this is the correct balanced equation 22 during vigorous exercise, lactic acid builds up in the muscle leading to oxygen depth, which statement describes as a stage in removal of oxygen depth during recovery. How do we remove this oxygen depth? Well, this is the heart will pump faster, allowing oxygen, oxygen to reach uh, to the part of your muscles. And this oxygen is going to be, going to remove the oxygen depth. So, how do we actually remove the lactic acid? Lactic acid is bro broken down in the liver. Remember, it is broken down in the liver. And then, yeah, aerobic respiration, basically the oxidation of lactic acid. All right, lactic acid. So D is the answer. Question 23. The table shows the concentration of sodium ions in, in blood plasma and glomerular filtrate, the liquid that passes through the glomerulus and in urine. What is the percentage concentration of sodium ions reabsorbed by the kidney tubules? Remember kidney tubules, you have to know the structure of kidneys as well as what each part of the kidney does. Now sodium ion is a mineral ion mineral ions so the kidney actually filters some of the mineral ions and excess ones will be released uh, will be dissolved in the urine and expelled from the body so so it is definitely if we look at the table we can see in the blood it has 141 arbitrary units before and after filtration it is only left with 127 so we want to know what is the percentage concentration of sodium Ions that is reabsorbed in the kidney tubule, so we are going to minus 141, minus 127, over 141, times 100%. So we now find the percentage concentration of sodium ions reabsorbed, which is 9.9, .9. therefore B is the correct answer. 24, which effects does adrenaline have on blood glucose concentration and pulse rate? Remember, adrenaline has many effects, one of which is that it makes the heart beat faster, it makes your pulse rate higher, it constricts your blood, constricts your pupil, okay, and increases your blood glucose concentration as well. Now we have to know it will increase your pulse rate, so it will increase your blood concentration, that will be a secret answer. 25. The concentration of glucose in blood is controlled by negative feedback. Okay, when blood glucose concentration falls too low, the something will release the hormone 
okay? This hormone causes cells to break down to glucose, which is released into the blood. We have to get a uh, fill in the blanks. So, the pancreas is the organ that is responsible for blood glucose um, concentration. Um, they are part of, uh, partly responsible um, because they release the hormones insulin and glucagon. And glucagon is a hormone that is released when the blood concentration is too low. The glucagon is going to increase that. Uh, it's going to stimulate the liver to increase the to break down the glycogen to glucose. So, number one is pancreas. Number two is the hormone glucagon. Number three is glycogen. Glycogen is broken down to glucose by the liver to increase the blood glucose transfer in blood. Therefore, C is the correct answer. 26. A young maize seedling is grown from seed. The seedling is placed on the side and left in a room with a light source for several days. What will happen to the young shoot? This is a question about tropism. Basically, the response in plants. Okay, so the oxygen will become concentrated in the lower part of the shoot. And the shoot will grow towards the light. So the direction of light, so the shoot it will always respond to the light. So it's going to be something like this. It's going to bend towards the light. And the oxygen will be concentrated in the lower part of the shoot because essentially light kills oxygen and oxygen likes to be on the darker side of the shoot. So A is the correct answer. 27. What is an adaptive feature of the sperm? Well, an adaptive feature of the sperm is that it has very, it has enzymes in the exosome. This is to penetrate, to penetrate, or you can say to digest the layers of cell, layers of cell, in, of the exosome. So B is the correct answer. Question number eight. The list contains um, statements about sexual and asexual reproduction in plants. Which statements describe asexual reproduction in plants? Asexual, meaning you it's not sexual reproduction. It does not have a male and female can meet. So an asexual reproduction requires not pollination because pollination, remember, is basically sexual so it is not number two um it does not require meiosis it requires mitosis instead for asexual it allows the population to re increase rapidly this is correct it produces offspring that are identical to a parent these are called clones this is also correct an example would be a strawberry plant so four and five are correct therefore c is the answer Page 29. The diagram shows the levels of two hormones during a 28 menstrual cycle. Okay, which, which hormones are represented by X and Y on the graph? Remember, if we see a very high peak of, of, of this X hormone on the day 14, and day 14 is the usual day for the general usual day for ovulation, ovulation, and so it could be estrogen. It also could be um, or H. Let's look at why and why there is a gradual increase after. And this means that this could likely be progesterone. Progesterone because progesterone generally increase after the estrogen dips. So you have to also know the structure of those. So it's going to be progesterone and estrogen. C is the answer. Question 30. Before meiosis takes place, a cell has 24 chromosomes. How many chromosomes will be found in each cell that are produced by meiosis? <coughs> this is a very easy question. Meiosis is basically a reduction, reduction division. So it will reduce the number of chromosomes by half, which is 12. So B is the correct answer.
<coughs> 31. When a horse with red hair breeds with a horse with white, white, white hair, the offspring will have red and white hair. These horses are described as having wrong colored hair. This is an example of co dominance. Now, this is correct. When two horses with wrong color hair are bred together, what is the chance of the offspring also having wrong color hair? Now we have to draw a Punnett square for this. So we're going to type out the genotype, which is HR, HW, HR, HW. We are going to draw a Punnett square. So we're just going to multiply it themselves. So HR, 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 HW. H R H W H W H W. So you can see the genotype, the offsprings and the offsprings. There's only um, there's only a fifty percent chance for the offspring to become also um have the brown colored hair. And therefore, C is the correct answer. Okay, question 32, the diagram shows a hydrophyte. What is an adaptive feature of this hydrophyte? Well, and one of the adaptive feature is that it has no stomata. I'm sorry, it has a large network of air spaces inside the leaves. And this is one of the adaptive feature. Okay, 33. Sickle cell anemia is a genetic disorder which results in severe illness in homozygous individuals. In some population, human populations, being heterozygous can be beneficial. What could be the reason for this? Well, this is because heterozygous in individuals are resistant to malaria. This is one of the facts that you have to note down in your head. You have to remember this. Which statement about selective breeding is correct? Selective breeding is basically the humans that are being, the humans or farmers that will control, that will act as the natural environment and will control the organisms to breed. Therefore, it involves parents that possesses desirable features. For example, a cow and a bull are going to mate to give a cow that produces a high yield of milk and therefore D is the correct answer question 35 the diagram shows part of the carbon cycle which process is shown by the arrow sleeve of the X remember the consumer are going to is going to turn back into the carbon dioxide in the atmosphere the producers also will turn back carbon dioxide into the atmosphere, the decomposers will also turn back carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. Now this process is called respiration, in which you produce carbon dioxide and water all the time. So, C is the correct answer. Question 36. A herd of red deer live in a forest that contains snakes and a large variety of birds. Which group of organisms is an example of a population? Remember, a population, you have to know the definition of population. A population is all of an organisms of one species living in the same area at the same so you have to remember the exact um, meaning or definition of a population. However, it can vary um, on the textbooks because these often word is slightly different. So in this case, a group of organisms of a population would be the all the red deer in the forest. So B is the correct answer. Question 37, which kingdoms do bacteria share the same genetic code? Remember, bacteria shows the universal genetic code. And this is one of the reasons why it is very useful in genetic engineering. Therefore, A is the correct answer. Which process makes use of a genetically engineered organism? 
Well, this is using bacteria to produce insulin. 39. What is a reason for conserving plant species? One of the reasons to conserve plant species is to obtain drugs for medicinal use. Because there are many plant species that we haven't discovered and it is um it has the potential for drug development. Okay? Question forty. The food web shows the feeding relationships in a woodland. If all the shuff shuffinches in the food web die, what which effect would this have? So if the uh, this creature or organism died, the number of caterpillars would increase. Right? So if the number of caterpillars increase, the damage of the trees will also increase. And thus A is the correct answer. Okay, we have reached to the end of the video. I hope you understand every single thing. If I were going a little bit too fast on some questions do tell me in the comments below and do drop your question in the comments below anyways thank you for watching my videos as always um if you found it helpful give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more content okay until i see you next time bye